We're here with Washington State women's rowing coach, Jane LaRivier. Coach, another spring is upon us. A new season is upon us. 21st season here at Washington State. How excited are you to hit the water this spring and uh, get ready to start in a really highly competitive regatta in San Diego? Yeah, well, we really can't wait. It's been a number of years, maybe four or five, since we've been down to San Diego, and we couldn't be more excited to return and take in the palm trees and, you know, the sun and the sand and all that stuff. So, but, you know, I think the, the team is ready to go and um, I can tell, I can tell they're excited and it, that's kind of fun to be around. This is uh, going into your first spring with a new coaching staff. I know that you have three new assistants in their first, you guys had your first fall together. How's training been with the new staff? How's the roster been gelling? And just how has overall training been just with the new coaches and with this new team? Well, I, I feel like I hit the jackpot and, um, you know, you never really want to have to replace your whole staff, but each of the previous uh, people moved up to head coaching and higher level assistant coaches. And so it's, it's part of the routine assistant coaches, you know, if they have bigger goals, then they, they leave and it, it it's hard, but um, I really feel like the new staff has gelled together and they're all very hardworking and I really, you know, we've gotten to know each other and we've still got a ways to go, but, you know, we're, I think, finding an ease of uh, working together. And um, I think it boils down to hard work. You know, they all, they're all hard workers and they all can see where attention is needed and they're very proactive. So yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. We're going to kick it over to a reporter. We got Jamie Vinnick with kookfan.com on. Uh, Jamie, go ahead. Hi coach. How's it going? Hey, great. Um, what can fans maybe expect to see out of the rowing team this season? Um, well, you know, that I'll be able to answer after the end of this weekend. You know, we, we train on the Snake River and uh, the only people we've lined up against are the men's club team. And uh, we've had some competitive uh, pieces and things with them. And they're, you know, the men's uh, varsity team is great because they're faster than us. And so it's really, it really helps prepare us for the kind of speed that we're going to see from Texas and Stanford, Cal, Washington, that kind of stuff. So um, hard to judge right now because we don't have anything, any, any other women's teams to compare ourselves to, but we're going to go race the best of the best. And I fully expect, um, you know, the four teams that we're racing were, uh, came uh, four were in the top six at NCAAs last year. So um, we're not gonna we're not gonna wonder about what the top speed in the country is after this weekend. What have you maybe seen from your team during or your team during the training sessions that has you kind of excited for the season? Well, I think number one is chemistry. Um, there's a lot of uh, lightness, and they're working really hard and camaraderie. And you know, if they they have a piece that maybe doesn't go so well, they don't get down on themselves. They just kind of you know, figure it out and move on and keep it light. And I'm seeing a lot of um, progress, like especially the um, freshmen and sophomores, they really have uh, bought into what the seniors and juniors are laying down. And um, I think I, I, I think that since they really don't know what to expect, they have very open minds and it's kind of like a, you know, why not us attitude. So. I don't know. They're just a fun bunch to work work with, and they have been improving by leaps and bounds. And so, uh, it's just exciting. And and you know, to be honest, we haven't had this kind of depth on the team since 2018. So there is a lot of competition to get into the one v, a lot of competition to get into the two v, and competition at the four level. So, you know, there there's within the team there's a lot of uh, pushing and pulling going on, and I think that just makes for a more competitive squad. You're, a, you're the longest tenured head coach for a female sport in Wazoo history uh, entering uh, your 21st season. What have maybe been some of your favorite Wazoo athletic memories over the last uh, couple of decades, uh, rowing or otherwise? Well, I, I can't lie. I mean, honestly, uh, the women's basketball team winning the Pac-12 championships, um, that, that it, it stands out as probably, you know, I mean, you know, when we've come, you know, when we medal at Pac-12s and when we come in the top, you know, we came fourth in 06 at NCAA championships. Um, you know, we've been in the top 10 a few times and like those, those accomplishments feel really good for the size of our program and, 
you know, the, the hard work that the women have to, you know, and the weather and, you know, like there's a few, a, a few tiny blemishes, you know, when you're the only Pac-12 school that kind of has a traditional winter, but we've always been kind of able to overcome that. And I think it's, we recruit the right people and they want to be here and they're tough and, you know, that, that kind of thing. So, you know, I think I, I just, you know, Pullman and Washington State are home to me. And I'm really excited to always be able to share the specialness of the campus and the community with our new recruits. And um, yeah, I mean, there's been tons of special moments, but I think uh, it's just seeing, you know, the development that happens with these people between the ages of 18 and 22, 23, that I, I just, I just derive a lot of satisfaction from seeing where they go off, they where they go on to in their life and carrying on rowing. And you know, another highlight for me was when uh, Lisa Roman um, won a gold medal for Canada in the women's aid at the Olympics at the Tokyo Olympics. Um, and she's just been an unbelievable representative of Washington State. And she's come down a lot. She came to our winter camp with us, and you know, she really is the epitome of a coup because you know she's excited to give back to the program and you know bring her medal around for everybody to see and yeah it's just uh you know lots of highlights and, and they far outweigh any of the low lights thanks coach appreciate it yeah thank you very much yep. well coach that's all the hot time we have today we appreciate you giving some of your time this week best of luck in san diego and until we talk to you next time go kooks go kooks